So the next fruit of the Holy Spirit is joy. Now, God is a God of good order. Absolutely. He doesn't do things accidentally. No. There is a reason to the, 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 order. Sis, the order of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. So from love, it goes to joy. Where does joy come from? From hearing. Well, I'm hearing the voice of the bridegroom. Alice is absolutely correct because that's what John the Baptist said. Mm -hmm. He said his joy was made complete because he had heard the voice of the bridegroom. That's almost like, okay, that's the, that's the symptom. What's the underlying truth? You know, where, you know where real joy comes from? Where does real joy come from? Hello? <laughs> Love. Yes. Love. Yes. You know, you can look at somebody who's just got a, a promotion at work, or somebody who just bought a new car. They may be happy, all right? And there's a difference between happiness and joy. We're going to talk about that. But real joy comes from love. I mean, show me somebody who's just fallen in love. Mm -hmm. And look at those two people. It doesn't matter. There's a song. I don't... Want to sing a song with us? Sure. I don't know if it's cloudy or bright. Uh, are there stars out tonight? I don't know if it's cloudy or bright. For I only have eyes for you. Want me to sing it for you? Sure. Don't have to. <laughs> All right. The point is that when you are truly in love, it doesn't matter whether it's cloudy or You're bright. The, the, and everything. the circumstances yeah. don't matter. That's right. What matters is that love. Mm -hmm. I mean, just find two people, two newlyweds. I mean, mm -hmm. that, I mean, that may not be an easy task in this day and age. No. But in any event, when you find people who are truly in love, mm -hmm. you will see the evidence of joy in their lives, on their faces, mm -hmm. when they look at each other. And if you think that's wrong, trust me, go in and look in the Song of Solomon yes. and see where it talks about. And I, you know, I've shared this verse a lot of times in a lot of different places. When Alice walks into a room, it makes my heart beat faster. That's scriptural. Yes. That's what the Word of God says. What gives you that joy, what, what makes your heart alight, is, is love. How important is love? Very it's the first of the first fruits, so I'd say it's really important. And the first oh, of the letters so to the seven churches in the book of Revelations is to Ephesus. Yes. And Ephesus is being, Ephesus was a powerful, powerful church that God used the Apostle Paul to start and it spread Christianity all through Asia Minor, what is Turkey today, all right? What he had against Ephesus? You had lost, you lost your first, first love. love. You've left your first love. Mm -hmm. Left or lost? Left. No. You've left your... Well, you, you, that, well, the point is, that first love, that glow of love, mm -hmm. isn't there. How is that evident? Because the joy isn't there. Mm -hmm. You see, joy has to be independent of circumstance. Mm -hmm. Happiness is tied to circumstance. Yes, absolutely. But joy is not. Now, that's really, really key to walking in true Christianity, being able to walk in faith, is being able to have joy regardless of the circumstance. Because if your life, if your feelings are controlled by the circumstances you're in, well, you know, it says in Psalms, many of the afflictions are the righteous. That's right. Now, the Lord does deliver us from them all, but the fact is you're going to have these tribulations. And if they rob you of your joy, well, you're going to leave your first love. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Because this is what... God, what Jesus talked about when he talked about the parable is so we're in the seed. It's the concerns of the world that can choke the word of God. Okay? And it goes back to the steadfast love. The steadfast. Ersed. Yes. You know, in, in Paul's letter to the Galatians, uh, where he talks about joy being the fruit of the Holy Spirit, there's a Greek word that's used. And I'm not, I'm not going to be a Greek scholar here or anything, but it's kara. And, and that is... It appears 59 times in the New Testament, in the King James. And of the 59 times it appears, over 90% of the times it's translated as joy. Mm -hmm. There's another word, entirely different, makareos, 
which is which appears 50 times also in the New Testament, and that's translated over 90% of the time as blessed, happy. happy. You see? There's a difference between the two. Now, there's nothing wrong with being happy. No. Happy. <laughs> Alice is going to sing happy for you. There's nothing wrong with being happy, but if that's based on the circumstance, then you know what? The world can rob that from you easily. Yes. But when your joy is based on your love relationship with God, and trust me, it's all about love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Where does it start? That's where it starts. Absolutely. It all starts with love. So turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of Grow strangely dim in the light of his glory.